Here we are at the International Journalism Festival with Wolf Wolfgang Blau, uh, Director of Digital Strategy of uh, the media group Guardian. Uh, my first question is, uh, your keynote speech is about uh, still uh, no pan-European uh, media. Are we nuts? My question is, are we really nuts? Why we haven't done yet? It is, of course, a, a poignant um, headline, and there actually are some early forms of pan-European media. There's Euronews, there's Euractiv. Uh, many large newspaper websites in Europe already produce at small scale, but at least they do it English-speaking versions so that more readers in, in other countries can read what they do. Um, so, no, I don't think we are nuts, but I think we should think uh, harder about what it means that now uh, Canadian, U.S. American firms are moving into Europe, such as HuffPost and BuzzFeed and Vice, producing some excellent journalism, uh, and are launching European editions, while there is no single continental European m newsroom that is doing the same and also has these global ambitions. Because eventually, the advantages of scale, of being a global publication, such as Huffington Post, which now is one of the world's five largest news sites, uh, might also diminish the influence of European voices. There's nothing wrong with these publications. I admire all of them. I myself consider myself half American. Uh, more power to Ariana Huffington if it takes an American to, to help organize a pan-European public sphere. I just think that the perception of the European Union around the world, outside of Europe, but partially also inside of Europe, should not, to such a dominant uh, extent be shaped by American and UK media only. I think there should be more continental voices as well. Uh, in Europe we are 28 uh, countries, so this pan-European media should be in English because it's a common language uh, in the world, I mean in uh, journalism media, but um, in Italy we don't know English very well, so um, uh, we have also a little audience in Italian newspapers, no one reads, uh, reads newspapers, so it can be difficult to um, have an effect uh, this, uh, uh, this pan-European medium. How can we uh, improve, uh, not our English, but our uh, um, attention to, to, to this media, in your opinion, how, how we can do? I mean Italian, uh, Italian audience. I didn't come here to provide solutions and answers, but to really raise a question that, that, that haunts me. And of course, that is one of the questions. I think if you want to reach scale, a critical size that eventually might give you a chance of, of, of not making losses, you would have to start in English. And I also think that especially younger readers, who oftentimes are already more European-minded through exchange programs like Erasmus, who are more fluent in English through their use of social media and the games also they play, the, the, the movies they watch in original language. Um, I think this is an issue that will become less and less important. And yet, of course, on a certain level, your heart and mind is only being reached in your own native language, and it's important to also produce that. I, I think we shouldn't narrow this discussion down from the get-go of either only doing it in English or it has to be translated. I think we should just experiment. Thank you.